and look what I found today. I found a silver ring. I found a bunch of Wheaties out of permission just right down the street from my house. It's like five five houses down. And I found a Tootsie toy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's eat some spinach. Yeah. Let's clean it up, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go really easy with it. Oh, yeah. Some spinach. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I found a little silver ring here. It has some black onyx gemstones that have popped out of it. It's a sterling ring, little ring. Found it in the trash. I didn't find this though, but yeah. I did buy a package of these <laughs> for $3.99, 24 of these for $3.99. Pepper Jack cheese. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite part about Tootsie Toys, man. Sure, it's fun digging them out of the ground, but cleaning them up is freaking awesome, man. Yeah. Mm hmm You know, I, I leave them with the dirt in them when I'm hunting, because I don't want it getting destroyed, right? If you clean this, if you clean this when you're out in the field, and you put it in your little container there or your bag, it'll just completely fall apart, right? The, the, the dirt preserves the integrity of, it preserve the, pres, preserves the structure of the toy, right? I hope the string wheel's still in there. Come on, baby. Mm, no. String wheel isn't there on there anymore, but it still has the green paint on it. Look at that! Look at that green paint that's coming out, man. Yeah, pouring it. Yeah. This is the, the funnest part about Tootsie Toys is cleaning them up like this, right? Usually I don't clean them up, but this one, I haven't found a Tootsie toy in a while. So, right there, man. Look at that. Get the four. Floorboards all vacuumed up there. <laughs> right there, man. Has all four wheels on it, too. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Spinach, man. Good stuff. Mm. Yeah. Now let's do the undercarriage of it. Yeah, am I? Oh yeah. Gotta go really careful with this part right here. This is when the wheels can pop off here. Throw this right there. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, man. Freaking awesome shape, too, man. This is where it starts falling apart, right? If you try to go too rough with it, right? The wheels will end up falling apart. The wheels end up falling off of it. So you just got to go really careful with it. Right. I love this part, man. Cleaning it out. Revealing the beauty what's under the dirt, man. Right there, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freaking awesome, man. Oh, boy. Well, I don't know about that one, man. Yeah, freaking bring it on. Right there, man. I'm gonna go really easy with it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Gonna go too far with the wheel then there all right let's get the wheel wells a little bit i'm not gonna go too far up high there because it'll start falling apart i can just see it now it's gonna start falling apart but i'll go with the back wheels man yeah Awesome, man. Four wheels on it, man. Yeah. No, it does still have the steering wheel on it. Right there. Get the floorboards really good. The green paint, man. Look at that. I'm not going to scratch it up too much. is when it starts falling apart. Right there, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Freaking awesome. <sighs> I love that, man. Finding Tootsie Toys, man. I just love it. I just love it. epic man this is in really good shape too really good shape I found it with the legend the six inch coil All right and it wasn't very deep because the, the the ground was scraped right that permission the guy is redoing his lawn so we're really easy with this part right here right there that's plenty good right there I don't want to go too far with it I don't want to start falling apart right there right there right there yeah freaking bring it on man <laughs> yeah know what I'm saying Freaking badass, man. Yeah. I love it. Freaking love it, man. Well, that's a little bit wasted in the back there. It is um starting to fall apart a little bit. But you know, you can't win them all. really careful with this because it could break the whole back end could break right off if I pry on it too hard all right I don't want to do that I don't want to break it man. <clears throat> beautiful right there man Underneath the wheel well there, without breaking it. Just a little bit right there. Freaking epic, man! A little bit right there. There we go. Freaking badass, man! I love it. That is an epic freaking find, man. <sighs> I 
like I said, I usually don't clean them up like this, but um, that's a spectacular find, man. Freaking epic, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll put my silver ring inside of there so I don't forget it. Yeah. Sarah needs more uh, spinach. Yeah. Yeah. I found a bunch of Wheaties in that yard today, too. A couple really old ones, like 19 teens. Another 1917 uh, and another 19... Uh, 1912 and a 1917. Or no, 1919 and 1912 penny in that yard today. And that ring and a one peso coin. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Yeah. So I can't wait for the, uh, the new update for the Nokia Legend is coming very soon. I am really really excited about this new update that's coming out you know manufacturers can, can go about it two ways they can go slow with the updates and have just a few features at a time and that makes it easier for us to figure out the bugs in the machines if you have a lot of updates or a lot of features in one update it's harder to figure out which one of those features is causing the problems so if they do it just a little bit at a time that's better so we can figure it out as we go having a whole bunch of fe features all at once sometimes it's really hard to diagnose a machine if it has some bugs in it you know which one of the features is giving us the problems but this new these new pitch tones and the the uh, iron bias is going to be pretty interesting now, I don't know if it's going to perform any better but um, we'll be able to dial it in a lot better on sites you know um, I, th I think the pitch tone is going to be really good you know when the Nokia Legend came out you know they were targeting you know the competition and that competition was the Equinox I think right now they're about pretty much the same machines except for build quality you know the performance is about the same you know uh, I have a lot of hours on all all the machines that I use and the Equinox is just not built very good you know it just it just breaks really easy you know they break really easy not not very good build quality but when it comes to these pitch tones you know what who are they going after with the pitch tones and the new audio response or audio gain the equinox does not have an audio gain it also does not have a pitch tone so who are they hitting who are they um heading towards i think they're trying to they're going towards the deus way right <laughs> and i believe you know out in the field when you're like an iron you know the deus machines really are the best in the iron but when it comes when you're out in the field just in normal hunting conditions the machines are pretty much the same man you know with weight you know the the deus machines are super freaking lightweight so you can swing them around for a lot more hours but the deus 2 the batteries die so one big downfall about the Deus 2, the batteries do not last all day long like I want them to last all day long in the coil. And with, you know, when you're in iron or whatnot, you know, uh, the Deus machines really are the best in iron, just hands down, just nothing can compare to them. You know, and, and the, the light weight, you know, being able to swing around the machine all day long. But when you're just general hunting, you know, Put a medium-sized coil on there and just hope for the best. And pretty much most machines out in the open, you know, out in the open field, you know, you're going to have about the same results for all of your machines, man. It just matters when you get an iron. When you get an iron, that's when the Deus machines perform very well. We shall see. 
we shall see when the pitch tones and the iron bias come out and, and I guess another multi-frequency um, channel, another multi-frequency um, setting for the Note the Legend and a lot of other features too. So I'm, I'm, I've been really, really chomping at the bit to get this um, new update. I'm very, very excited. Actually, I am the most excited I've been in the last probably many years about this new update coming out on any machine, on any machine. I'll, I'm, I'm even more excited about this new Note to Legend update than when when I was when I first got the Legend or when I first got the Deus 2 or when I, when I was doing really good with the Deus 1 and I got, got the Deus 2. But this new Le Legend update, I think will be, it's going to be fantastic. I mean, it's going to be, I'm hoping it's going to be, you know, it might have a couple, a little bit of a rough start with it because there's so many features on it, but I'm really looking forward to it, man. And I will be swinging around the legend for a lot of hours once that update comes out, this new update. You're going to see me swinging their ledger, legend around a lot. Well, thank you for watching.